Hi, my name is Chris Briggs and I've been uh, dog grooming for about 16 years. I've been involved with Golden Retrievers for about 10 and trimming mainly for shows. Um, I've been lucky enough to be influenced by some fabulous breeders such as Glennis Hewitson of Cerulea, Tricia Butterworth of Applebrook and the late Heather Morris from Sandusky. Um, this is Lacey, she's 11 years old. Her posh name is Cerulea Sister Act and uh, she's pretty typical of what you would see on your grooming table. She's 11 years old and she's spayed. Um, so she does carry a fairly thick coat, not over the top, but, but okay. So. so the most important part of drying a, uh, pre preparing a golden is the drying. It's all in the drying. The breed standard dictates that this top coat should be flat or wavy or slightly wavy, um, never curly. So it's all in the technique. So we've got a slightly damp coat. And what you want to do is separate the hair so you can see skin and blast with the direction of the growth all over the body. So. Golden Retrievers have quite a high incidence of um, dead tail. So it's absolutely vital that you get their backs bone, bone dry, um, as it can affect the nerve if they get damp and wet and cold. Um, breeders really do believe that quite strongly. So um, make sure you're almost dry off the blaster and then spend maybe 10 minutes finishing off with a Simpsons stand dryer. And I normally like to go over after on this type of coat, just with a Mason Pearson. And just to shine that coat up again. We're gonna start with the feet. So you pick your foot up and just trim any excess hair away from the pads. No clippers necessary. Just a nice tidy underside of the foot. And it's really important to remember that the, the foot needs to be round and cat-like. So we don't want to dig out all this hair in between the toes because it will be padding for our foot and the overall look. Our goldens for the show ring have this hair tidied up here. And it just neatens the whole, the whole foot up. You want to make sure that you leave enough padding on the pastern so as not to make it look weak or thin. And brush up again and just finish with a thinner. Yeah, we'll move on to the back foot. And again, no clippers required, just scissor that up. And again, back foot should look round and cat-like, like the front. come to the hock and put the dog in the best possible position so really um, with a golden you want your hock almost in line with your pointed buttock you can see you've just got some straggly hairs there I like to 
curve my scissor around slightly on the hook just for a more natural look. Thank you, Lacey. Sneak hook and foot, and then we move on to the front. Right, so we're working the front now, and we start with the shoulder. You can see that there, there is a slight ridge of hair forming around the shoulder, and we just want to chunk that, chunk that out, and make that lie a bit flatter. What you're trying to create is a, a, a picture of overall balance and symmetry. Um, they are a functional gun dog, but this this trimming is done purely for the show ring. And unless you're instructed to by vet, never clip a golden retriever because, as for purposes of qualification, we call them a combination coat but they're actually double coated as well. And a double coat will trap cool air when they're hot and trap warm air when they're cold. If you remove that coat, you remove the function for them to be able to control their body temperature properly. So bath, brush out and do this trim rather than clip unless you're instructed to by vet. Um, and with undercoat uh, devices, um, not naming any names, but the ones that you scrape through and they remove coat, um, we don't like to use them on a golden because they have a high shine hair shaft. So this is quite a strong hair and running that type of metal blade across it will actually strip the hair shaft, make it weak. And what you will end up is the dog flicking up at the tips of its coat like that. So just slickers and combs. Don't remove any undercoat that doesn't need to come out. So we trim in with the growth for a nice natural finish. Again, these shouldn't look trimmed. And we'll take a smaller pair just to detail the ear. Good girl, Lace. So you're trying to create a picture of balance and symmetry. So leave a decent amount of fore chest. And in profile, this should look smooth, but just be careful not to take too much hair out because you don't want to see any skin. Do a bit more detailing on the ear. Just tidy that ear lever up, taking any stray hairs off, and the top of the ear as well. Golden retrievers suffer from a um, skin condition. It's kind of exclusive to them, and it's called ichthyosis. Um, it manifests itself in black shedding scales all over the body. It's non-irritant, non-contagious and completely harmless. It's just a genetic disorder um, that Goldies have. So if you do end up with one on your grooming table and you notice black, shed, black skin all over, don't worry. It's absolutely harmless, but you might want to wear a uh, mask if you're blasting. If you've got a lot of trouser like Lacey has because she's spayed and you're just lacking a little bit of angulation there, you can just chunk out a little bit of this. Yeah. 
Again, you're wanting to make it look natural. So, I might just tidy this up a bit. So balance and symmetry. And then we come on to the tail. The tail should meet the hock or exceed the hock. It should never be short, so don't don't tip your tail here and make that too short. At least it, I know, it's tickly. Stand up. So hold your tail like that, ensuring you've got, you haven't got too much hair in your hand and you want to taper the tail to the tip. It'd help if you stood still. And again, we use thin thinners for this just to keep a nice and natural look. There you go. And there you have it, the simplified golden retriever trim. Something anyone could do in their salons. And this is exactly what you would do for the show ring as well. So it, it crosses over perfectly for commercial salon grooming. So this is the finished article. Um, as you can see, trimming is minimal um, and it's all designed to accentuate the natural balance of the dog. Um, so we've thinned all this out and taken it in so it looks nice and smooth. We've tidied the tops of the ears and the inside of the ears. We've done the hocks, the feet, front feet and up to the stopper pad and we've just given a nice graduation on that tail. Looking after the coat at home, I'd advise clients to brush at least twice a week just with a Mason Pearson ball bristle brush uh, just to keep that coat nice and clean. They, do, they can tend to be a bit stinky because they do create a lot of oil, so um, brushing through that coat twice a week will just disperse that oil and keep them nice and clean. I'd expect to see a show golden really just before shows and maybe every six weeks. Um, your pet ones you'll probably see maybe twice a year. Then they're, they're not a frequently attending breed, but they are popular, so we do get we do get a lot in grooming. And I'd like to thank um, the breeders that have influenced me along the way, Glenis Hewitson, Cerulea, Patricia Butterworth, Applebrook and the late Heather Morris Sandusky. Mm -hmm.